what people don't realize that, you know, greasing the groove, that's the term, proper term, long-term potentiation is like when you are getting better at like that transmission gets stronger. It's like your nerves become superconductors. But there's also its evil twin, long-term depression. So pretty much what happens is now you're trying as hard, but your muscles are not jumping in response anymore. So one of the ways to uh, get this long-term depression is by, by failing. So whenever you're attempting certain thing and if it doesn't happen, that, that's a way that pathway starts, starts firing weaker and the inhibitory pathways start to become stronger. And it becomes even worse if you're emotional about it. So you said quite a few things about adrenaline, but uh, adrenaline has, adrenaline does promote neuroplasticity, but not always in a good way. So if you look at the PTSD treatments, you will find that if uh, a person re-experiences that bad, whatever thing that happened, and then it gets into the feedback loop, that positive feedback, positive doesn't mean good, positive it just means it keeps increasing it. Because every time that there's a spike of adre adrenaline, that reinforces the memory. So if you missed the attempt and you also got really upset about it, and then you remember it again, so you're making yourself weaker and weaker, which reminds me of a very fascinating way that the ancients used for, uh, to record some events before, before there's writing. So let's say there's a wedding between VIP families. They bring a kid, young kid, seven-year-old, let's say, and make the kid watch the whole thing. And after, after the festivities, they throw the kid into the river. The, the kid crawls out of the river, and it was, he doesn't know, to, he doesn't expect it. And the kid climbs out of the river, and he's going to remember that wedding for the rest of his life. He's going to hold that record. Because of the adrenaline spike associated exactly. with so the cold water. Exactly. So that really did increase the neuroplasticity, so that memory became really deeply ingrained. So yeah, part of, uh, part of disinhibition is not promoting inhibition, is just not failing. So Fred Hatfield had a beautiful line, uh, success begets success, failure begets failure. Train to success, not to failure. Do you recommend actually avoiding training to muscular failure? Absolutely. There's really no reason for that. If you're doing that with uh, single joint bodybuilding exercises like curls, it probably does not make, doesn't matter. And if you're doing it for bodybuilding, but I still don't see the point because every rep closer to failure that is going to increase exponentially recovery time. So you're not going to get quite as much 